Every February 14th across the United States and other places around Serving the Serving the community. 93.3 FM, Marysville. All right, Brett. You ready? And serving the country. I joined the military in 1988, did seven deployments, four combat tours. Come on. Yubo Cody of Tracy and John Black of Marysville. So what are the origins of Valentine's Day? Don't know each other, but they do share a similar struggle. I'm in a huge amount of pain right now. I couldn't do things I normally do. It just anchored me down. They couldn't get the medication their doctors prescribed. It was about 25 years ago that I came down with multiple sclerosis. Since 2006, when I broke my foot. Following years of surgeries and chronic pain. And then they would say it's a nationwide issue. It's happening everywhere. It's not just you. Without warning, their pharmacy said they're out. They sent me after 15 years of being on medication into withdrawals. Withdrawal symptoms. Most commonly fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, um, confusion. Can be dangerous. In the higher doses, you're at risk for seizure and you're at risk for death. Tracy Fremd has been a nurse practitioner for 35 years. I've never seen a shortage of opiates to treat my pain patients as I have in the last six months. With these pills in particular, a combination of hydrocodone and acetaminophen, this is important for our community to know about. So Fremd, Cody, and Black each separately reached out to KCRA 3 Investigates for help. There's no answer. I wish there was an answer. Do you have an answer? We started with the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA. By their definition, there is no shortage, but they measure it differently than the country's largest association of pharmacy professionals. We represent 60,000 pharmacists, student pharmacists, and pharmacy technicians. The American Society of Health System Pharmacists tracks drug shortages and says there may be a few reasons for this one, starting with the Drug Enforcement Agency, or DEA, which sets a limit each year on how much of these pain pills can be made. The bad news is that toward the end of the calendar year, we think some of the shortages may have been due to those DEA quotas. Some companies restricted from making more, while others might not even meet their quotas because of unexpected production issues. Regardless, year after year, the DEA has reduced quotas for manufacturers. A lot of that goes back to the opioid crisis and the opioid epidemic. Overdoses fueled by the abuse of pain pills, sparking thousands of lawsuits against drug companies, pharmacies, and distributors. Do you feel like you're getting caught in the middle. I do. Rules meant to protect the public. Don't punish the people that really do have to take it. Having unintended consequences for patients in pain. It's unconscionable. Making it tough for them to get back to doing what they love. All I want to be able to do is give back to the community and this thing is not allowing me to do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up, it's Let's Talk History. Lizay Mitri. Okay, let's go home. KCRA 3 investigates. Well, the DEA is trying something new this year, setting limits for drug manufacturers quarterly instead of annually. Pharmacists say they're hopeful that that will help the agency make adjustments throughout the year if one company is meeting its quota and another is not. But manufacturers also worry that it could make the market more unpredictable and unstable. For more details on things like how to track the current drug shortages, you can go to KCRA.com.